In a world of typecast, there are worse things to be typecast as than the 60-year-old badass. In a world of typecast, I think Liam Neeson has won that. The Commuter. So non-stop two, it's not really non-stop two. The Commuter stars Liam Neeson, he's a family man, he's down on his luck, he's on the train he takes every day, then Vera Farmiga comes to him and says, hey, we want you to do this thing, here's some money, do you want to find this person we want you to find? He soon realizes he's in over his head, but that's basically the movies he has to find this person on this train. He has so much time to do it. Just investigating and deductive reasoning, you need to narrow it down to this one person. That's kind of the movie, but it's not the whole picture. The movie tries to venture out because you can tell that like people are gonna start to get claustrophobic. Been in a train this entire movie, let's, let's have things happen and when these things happen especially the last act of the movie it's so out of place it just it feels like the movie doesn't mix and in a world of Liam Neeson being Liam Neeson I think Liam Neeson is the only Liam Neeson who can actually play Liam Neeson as well as Liam Neeson plays Liam Neeson it's you get what I'm saying here the movie itself falls short but there's something morbidly entertaining about watching Liam Neeson be this character a couple of scenes I genuinely liked a couple of scenes of tension where I was white knuckling it gripping my seat I was like Man, this is remarkably intense for a movie that's just not remarkably great so props to that there is this fight sequence that does the weird camera zooming digitally around everyone's head green screen thing. First time I noticed it was Kingsman the Secret Service when he's in that epic shootout in that church. Not even a shootout, it's a massacre. But it's a great scene, then Kingsman 2 did it, and I was like, I'm kind of wise to the act now, and I could totally tell it's on a green screen. This movie does it, while Kingsman the Secret Service I felt did it best. People need to either refine that or stop using it, because it really takes me out of it when two people are fighting, and they're moving weirdly unnatural like they're at a silent hill. I don't like it. Fact is, The Commuter is a more boring version of Nonstop. That's right, it's the star of Nonstop. It is the same director as non-stop. It's the same basic premise of non-stop, but it's not a sequel to non-stop. Fact is, as entertaining as this movie looked like it was going to be, as much as I actually ended up liking the setup, it was edited very weird and jarring, but the prologue to the movie just kind of shows how this guy is a normal everyday guy going about his day to day. It was great setup, and then from there, the movie just kind of bores you, because he is lost for 90% of this movie, and then he kind of gets it in his head, like, all right, here's how I'm going to find this person. Then he does it, and then there's something that happens after that in the movie end. For a lot of the movie, he doesn't gain any ground, which makes you just kind of check your watch, You're like, all right, let's go. It's one of the scripts that should have filtered through a few different people so they can refine those points. But refining those points, I think, would be more than just refining that one point, making that one tweak. It really does change the entire movie. You have to have a whole new situation for these moments, but you can't do that. I mean, you can do that, but obviously they were like, look, we don't have time. This is a January movie. Come on. Guys, in the end, any way you slice it, you have seen the premise of The Commuter before. It may be a little different. It may be a lot the same. But the point is, you've seen it. I'm not going to really remember this movie. In fact, I'm not going to remember The Commuter in T-minus one day. I'm not going to drop as far as January movies go, this isn't actually the most painful I've ever had it. In fact, it's not painful at all, it's just not that memorable. Alright guys, so not non-stop too. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.